Discernment's a word that gets thrown around a lot here at the university. We have a, a number of students who are trying to understand where they might be called to serve, how their gifts might be useful, whether they're going to get a job. There's all sorts of conversations that ultimately key in on this word discernment. And I think sometimes it gets muddled in questions that are asked about professional employment, about majors, about gifts and talents, all of which touch on discernment but don't necessarily focus on the heart of the issue. Discernment, as I understand it, is two-part. It involves our God-given gifts and talents, but it also involves the needs of the church and the world. I understand discernment as actually those God-given gifts and talents being directed to the needs of the church and the world. So it's not simply a question of figuring out what we're good at, though that's very important, or what brings us joy. I think sometimes people can leave that out in the pursuit of a job. But actually, discernment also needs to pay attention to who needs those gifts? Who needs those talents? If I'm going to be a lawyer, a doctor, a chemical engineer, why does it matter? Of course it can, simply for the joy that it brings you, for the gifts that you can provide a family, but, but there are also people in our world who need those gifts and talents, who need you to be able to serve. And so as I understand discernment and paying attention to where and how those God-given gifts might matter in our world, it matters that we also listen for the needs of the poor. We listen for the needs of our communities, our country, and our world as they need those gifts and talents as well.